All right, I'm Nick. I get a ton of questions about how to install fish fryers on kayaks, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys a super simple solution that you can do. All you need is a bag, your battery, your wires, and a transducer mount. We're gonna put it on this handle. This is an Old Town kayak. Now I've done this same setup on multiple Hobies. No need to drill any holes, no need to do anything crazy. Very, very simple. So we're gonna start at the front, right? Um, in this hole, we have our scupper transducer mount. You guys can see this wire. It comes out of there. It goes in this hatch. Now on the old town, and this kayak is filthy. We've been doing some crappie fishing and all kinds of stuff from it. This wire just goes in here, goes around there. This is still watertight. You see a little indent right there. The wires go through there. They come out underneath the seat. This goes down. It is still watertight because, you know, gravity. Uh, water's not going to go in there and come up. You're good to go. It won't hurt that wire. We haven't drilled any holes right here. Really, it's a waste of a $30 adapter. It's not needed. Use something, PVC pipe, broomstick, whatever you got. Help fish that wire back to you. We come back here. On this old town, we have a hatch underneath the center of the kayak. It's a click and seal hatch. It's the same system as that. We have the battery and all of our excess wires in here. Everything's in here. We have a Nakwa battery in here. All the wires rolled up. Remember, that whole thing is waterproof, so it doesn't matter if it gets hit with a wave. It's irrelevant. That's on there. The wires go through here. This is the power wire that goes to the back of our fish finder right here. We're going to unplug it for the sake. Remember, red is power. That goes through there. I can take this off this kayak. I can put it on any other kayak I want to put it on. This is all self-contained by simply pulling this and pulling this i could put this power anywhere okay now after that we're going to undo this transducer wire so you guys can see we have it threaded through the seat we're going to fold this up this right here come on in here look at this this is locked so this lid doesn't come off of here unlock it fold it up this is the wire from the transducer in there, no issues, works fine. You get it installed to the right distance. You put this bad boy on there. You lock it down. You put the seat down. You lock the seat in place. Now say you're like myself and I have more than one kayak and, well, that's funny. Uh, I like to put this on multiple different systems, okay? I have more than one transducer because I've been doing this for a long time. I'll keep an extra transducer, which is in the garage right now. I can simply come over here, loosen this knob, pull this whole system off, slide this in this bag, take it to the next kayak, install it just like this. We did this. This is a 120 PDL. We did this with a 106 MK. You can do this with a big fish finder, a small fish finder. We currently have a live scope system with a 93 SV installed on a Hobie Outback using the same system, everything's just a bit bigger, right? So say that you're going to fish a tournament somewhere or something that you don't want your electronics sitting on the kayak, no big deal, you got your bag, we come back out here. Obviously it's harder to do leaning across the kayak. We're just gonna tighten this down, get it where we want it. We're gonna re-plug the transducer in. We're gonna take this, we're not gonna install this on there just for the sake of time. We're gonna plug this back in here. Can I get it in? That battery might finally have died. That's crazy. I can't believe it finally died. It is what it is, but that's how it works. That's funny, we should have had a dead battery, not have a dead battery. This is only a 4.4 amp hour battery, so it doesn't last very long. peacock always makes an appearance all right so if you had a quality battery that wasn't dead somebody should charge that's funny i think kevin told me it died the other day but that's the gist of it okay seats in position depending on where you sit you just slide the seat forward or backwards this straps to the back of the seat it's out of the way if you don't want to mount it down here you can mount it up there we've also mounted it to the back of this in the past with this little bag i'll be mounting it to the seat because out of the way you can still reach anything you have back here and you're good to go. Okay, so that is how you install a fish finder with a dead battery. Make a video with no notice. That's how you do it, right?
without drilling any holes in your kayak, okay? Very, very simple, easy to remove, drilled no holes. We did use the scupper mount, lots of options for that. So if you have more questions, leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching.